H-20 stealth strategic bomber China under development by Xi'an Company. Project remains classified, managed within AVIC Aerospace Defense Industry Group. Goal, establish long-range strike capability completing Chinese nuclear deterrence triad. Overall, flying wing configuration, reducing radar cross-section and detectability significantly. Initial concept bomber project surfaced early 2010 decade in China. September 2016 Air Force formally announced program official start. Since 2018, official reports confirmed significant project progress developments. Xi'an promotional videos displayed covered flying wing bomber silhouette. Primary objective extend China strike reach beyond second island chain. Enable stealth penetration against bases, carriers, high-value assets adversary. Complete nuclear triad through flexible airborne delivery platform long range. Expand regional deterrence depth, increasing Chinese overall strategic maneuvering space. Flying wing planiform serrated intakes and blended body stealthy. All weapons carried internally, reducing radar returns in signature. Flat undersurface, eliminating protrusions, controlling reflection radar emissions carefully. Radar absorbing coatings, advanced composites, increased durability under operational stresses. Likely propulsion, four non afterburning turbofan engines hidden inside wing. Options include WS 10 or WS 20 series providing necessary thrust. Key challenge reliability, fuel consumption, durability under extended mission cycles. Engines placed atop body, reduce radar, infrared signature, visibility. Combat radius, estimated minimum 8,500 km operational range. Effective combat radius, roughly 5,000 km, stealth subsonic penetration. Cruise speed, subsonic around 890 km per hour. Aerial refueling capability foreseen supporting extended multi-stage long-distance operations. Weapon payload minimum 10 tons, baseline configuration reported officially. Munitions mix, guided bombs, bunker busters, long-range cruise missiles integrated. Capability deliver nuclear airborne weapons for strategic deterrence essential role. Large internal base capacity, approximately 16 internal weapon stations. Launch platform, cruise missiles, CJ-20 or later extended versions. Cruise missile range, approximately 2,000 km based on assessments. Mixed loadouts, possible precision bombs against bases critical infrastructure. Anti-ship configuration possible with long-range sea-skimming missiles targeting carriers. Radar cross-section extremely low, around 100 square meter estimated. Eliminating vertical stabilizers, cranked edges scattering radar reflections outward. Cooled exhausts, overhead placement reduce infrared observable heat signature. Precise panel alignment, bay door seams ensure optimized stealth configuration. Active phased array radar multifunction ground mapping surveillance capabilities present. Electro-optical sensors, electronic warfare suites secure tactical data links integrated. Digital open architecture mission management sensor fusion across multiple domains expected. Role extension reconnaissance command node within integrated battle networks expected. Public unveiling delayed. Officials claiming flight testing phase imminent. Recent years scattered evidence prototypes undergoing ground flight evaluations. Unofficial leaked images unconfirmed overall program status remains classified. Chinese military denies bottlenecks, claims production readiness achieved soon. Planned production numbers undisclosed, estimate several dozen initially. Operational service before 2030 unlikely realistic projection contemporary analysts. Fleet expansion during 2030s with upgrades, training, gradual integration. Final quantity dependent threats, budget, success, trials, infrastructure readiness. Overall program costs undisclosed estimates billions invested national effort. Unit price roughly $360 million equivalent estimation. Comparison indicates economic advantage versus Western stealth bomber contemporaries today. However, radar absorbing coatings maintenance raises significant operational sustainment expenses. Specialized hangars controlled environment required for radar coating maintenance continuously. 
Air bases need long runways, RCS facilities, advanced instrumentation installed. Expansion tanker fleet required supporting operational long-range bomber missions. Simulators developed for training pilots in maintenance crews ground. Pilot training emphasized low-level penetration profiles, nighttime operational readiness. Joint network-centric operations coordinated with drones, missile systems integrated. Safety procedures, engines, fuel management, loading weapons emphasized consistently. Doctrine development required stealth bomber employment, complex threat environments. Flying wing control requires advanced algorithms, stability verified extensive testing. Radar absorbing materials durable long-term service life difficult produce. Avionics integration, EW systems, weapons require robust open architecture. Indigenous engines must deliver efficiency, service life, mission performance. Core mission, strategic strike against bases, ports, adversary infrastructures. Option, preemptive attack, disabling adversary air power grounded initial phase. Long range threat against Guam, Hawaii, American allied installations, Pacific. Support naval operations threatening carrier strike groups, maritime domains. Airborne nuclear delivery completing national deterrence triad China strategic. Greater flexibility response signaling crises regional and global levels. Ability to carry nuclear cruise missiles penetrating unexpected approach vectors. Maintain operational ambiguity through long endurance multi-route flight profiles. Prime contractor Xi'an subsidiary AVIC experience bomber H6 production. Experience producing Y-20 transport provided industrial infrastructure capabilities platform. Potential collaboration CETC radar developers, engine groups, propulsion expertise. Air Force involved defining requirements, overseeing operational evaluations actively. Ground testing, wind tunnels, vibration, structural flight control systems. RCS measurements, specialized ranges calibrating stealth computational models thoroughly. Weapon separation trials from bays under varied conditions executed. Flight testing phased gradually toward initial combat readiness established. Supply chain complex composites, avionics, secrecy, production requirements critical. Standardized field maintenance, coating inspection, rapid repair turnaround crucial. Sensitive engine radar components sourced secure against tracking interference. Cybersecurity emphasized throughout design production cycles secure. Program entirely domestic, not intended exports, focus national needs. Aligned with strategic doctrine, long-range deterrence capability expansion prioritized. Limited public information ensures surprise operational control image management. Industry media coordination controlling expectations preventing leaks sensitive details. Official start program September 2016 Air Force Statement. Reported advances 2018 Xi'an promotional imagery later circulated online. Recent claims imminent rollout maiden flight mid-2020s timeline. Service entry limited capability probable around 2030 realistic timeframe.